Hey, it's Jonathan McGinley, a Maxwell certified coach, speaker, and trainer, and the founder of Intentional Man, a company that exists to give Christian men the tools, the community, and coaching to pursue God-sized goals, live intentionally, and build lives of significance. Today, I want to talk about one of the habits that has had the greatest positive impact on my life. Apart from my decision to spend time with the Lord each day, this habit has probably been the best one that I've ever put in place. And even that time in the morning with the Lord flows from this habit. And when I'm working with men, I love to identify what I call cornerstone habits. And what I mean by that is these are habits that if you do them, typically you'll set yourself up for success in some of the other habits that you want to develop. So for example, for some guys, it's going to the gym. If they go to the gym in the morning, they usually eat healthier the rest of the day. They drink more water the rest of the day. They have more energy, so they're more focused. They get more done. They aren't as distracted at work because they set the tone and did something hard in the morning. So instead of uh, focusing on all those other little habits, we work together to build the habit of just going to the gym consistently, knowing that if we do that, it's going to positively impact everything else. So that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about a cornerstone habit. And one of the cornerstone habits that has been most effective in my life and a lot of other guys that I've seen is taking time at the end of the day to plan the next day. So having a quick nightly reflection and planning session is the cornerstone habit for me that impacts pretty much everything that I do the next day. And I was having a conversation with one of my, one of my friends the other day who recently started doing this. And he said it was making all the difference in his life when he was doing his nightly planning he was pretty dialed in the next day. When he was blowing off the nightly planning, then he would have a tendency, things would unravel more the next day. So if you're having trouble sticking to your habits and sticking to your commitments throughout the day, I would encourage you to try out planning your day the night before. Your day ultimately starts the night before. That's how I like to look at things. My day doesn't start in the morning. It starts when I plan the day before I go to bed. So let me paint you a picture here real quick. You've probably experienced both of these scenarios at some point in your life. So imagine a day where you wake up, you hit the snooze button on the alarm clock a few times till all of a sudden you don't have much time to get ready. You feel rushed. You maybe quickly jump in the shower, you get dressed, and then you just rush out the door. You didn't eat anything for breakfast and you hop in the car. You're running a little late to work. So you're speeding through traffic, uh, trying to get there as fast as you can, maybe a little road rage in there. Uh, and then you immediately, once you get to work, you're still kind of feeling rushed. So you jump into email and then there's a bunch of things waiting in your inbox for you that need your attention. And at that point, you just start reacting to all the requests in the email. So you spend the whole morning working on everyone else's requests, uh, and you didn't get to do any of the things that you wanted to do yourself. And then you get into the afternoon, you're still feeling the stress of the day. You just responded to everybody's requests. You feel like everybody's pulling you in a million different directions. And so you want to decompress. And so in the afternoon, you end up spending a lot of time distracted. Maybe it's on your phone or surfing the internet, whatever it is. And that rest of the afternoon is then spent with mixed focus and not much productivity. And then you get home, you're still feeling tired. You're still feeling stressed. You feel bad that you didn't, you weren't that productive in the afternoon. So you just jump on the couch and you start watching TV to kind of disconnect from everything. Okay, can you relate to this scenario? I know I definitely can. I've been there a lot of times. <laughs> and this whole story, maybe it's a little dramatic, maybe it's a little overblown, but you can see some of the elements of how your day might go if you head into the day in reaction mode instead of being proactive. Okay, so the other scenario is you take time the night before you plan out your day. You know exactly what you're going to do. You know exactly when you're going to do it. You got it time blocked. You know that you're planning on going to the gym in the morning. So you laid out your workout clothes the night before. You take a look at your day to see when you're going to have time to eat between tasks. And so you pack your food the night before. And then when you wake up, you turn off the alarm immediately. You jump in your workout clothes. You get to the gym. After that, you're getting ready for the day. You grab the food that you already packed and you had to work with plenty of time so you're not blowing through traffic, stressed out. And then instead of hopping right into email, you had already blocked out the morning to work on your one to three most important tasks for the day. So you knock out all those tasks before lunch. You then take a break to eat lunch, uh, a lunch that you packed. Then you jump back into the day feeling all the momentum from earlier. So you crush it the rest of the workday. 
working on your most important activities. And then you would also plan to spend time with friends or you spend time, uh, plan to spend time with family after work. So you come home and you invest in your most important relationships instead of just hopping right on TV. You plan to relax after all that and you plan to have some spontaneous open time in the last couple hours of the day. So at that point, you can watch TV or play video games or whatever it is you like to do for the last two hours, but you do them guilt free instead of feeling like you wasted the day. Okay, can you see the massive difference in a proactive day versus a reactive day? Can you see how many good habits and things happened, how much focus you had, how much energy followed just from taking time to plan the day the night before? So this is why that nightly planning session can be one of your great uh, greatest tools. If waking up at six is in your calendar and you've committed to it, you have a way greater chance of actually turning off the alarm and getting up right at six o'clock. When the gym is in your calendar and you've actually committed to going, your chances of actually going increase exponentially. So when you plan out for the, mo the most important tasks for the day and block out time to do them, you know that you're gonna be making significant progress because you identified what was important, you planned them in, you did those things, you know you're doing the things that you identified as being the most important. When you plan on intentionally spending time with family or friends, you know that you're making time for the people in your life that matter the most to you. And then you can, like I mentioned earlier, you can absolutely block out time at the end of the day to do whatever it is that you like to do. You can plan that in. You can plan out blocks to be open or spontaneous or for TV if there's a show that you want to watch or a game you want to watch. That's okay if you plan it in and it's what you plan on doing. So if there's one habit that I can encourage you to do that would have one of the greatest impacts on your life, it would be this one, to actually do a nightly planning session. When we talk about living a life of intentionality, we talk about meaning, uh, we talk about being proactive. And this habit of planning the day before is a great way to make sure you're being proactive in each of your days. And it only takes about five to 10 minutes to do. So what a massive return on investment. We're talking about taking five to 10 minutes out of your evening to give you 24 hours the next day of being proactive and being focused and making sure that you're doing the things that you like to do. Feels like a no brainer, right? Five to 10 minute trade for a 24 hour period that is much better. So if this is something you're not consistently doing and the key there is consistently, uh, then I would encourage you to make a renewed commitment to putting this into practice every single night. And I believe you'll notice the impact immediately. Ben Franklin has a frame, famous quote that says, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. If you don't actually plan out your day to be in line with your priorities, to be in line with your dreams and your goals, then you're missing out on a great opportunity. We typically don't react our way into a life of significance. We usually create or build a life of significance by being intentional day in and day out. Your life is the sum total of your days. So you must make each day your masterpiece. You must seek to win the day. And the best way that I know to set myself up for a win each day is to actually take time the night before to plan. And if you don't have a system or a tool for nightly planning, order one today. Get one. There's a ton of great planners out there. The Intentional Man Planner is a great tool that you can purchase on Amazon if you need one. But pretty much any system where you can block out and plan each hour of the day will work great. So don't wait until the end of the year to do this. The temptation is to say, all right, it's already near the end of the year. I'll start doing that in January. Don't wait. Start doing it now. Build the habit now. You'll notice the difference right away. So thank you for joining me today. If this was helpful, please share it with somebody else that you might that might find it beneficial. Please like and share this training. And please leave comments of some of your thoughts and the best practices that you've found for being proactive each day. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to answer any questions you may have as well. So thank you for joining. Go live a life you're proud of by living intentionally.